This video will demonstrate how to set up a podcast using KX Studio's Jack Audio Connection Bay called Carla. And this is the Carla Git version. To demonstrate this, we're going to take calls from Skype, Mumble, and Google Voice using KX Studio's native applications. And the, one of the secret weapons is Cadence. Cadence already has two Jack bridges Pulse Audio to Jack and ALSA Audio to Jack. We're going to use this native default ALSA Audio to Jack bridge for Google Voice. We're going to create another one ourselves for Mumble and because Skype does not allow ALSA sound cards anymore in its latest version we're going to use KX Studios Pulse Audio to Jack bridge for Skype. So on the left we have Skype, Mumble, and Google Voice. I already has some calls set up, so let's go over that. So here is Skype coming in. On camera, the Red Bull Air Force team climbing base jump. And then over here we have Mumble. Because as you know, occasionally we have a premature firing here. I feel the bubbles building up. Let me aim it right about there. And this is coming from uh, two other computers in the house. And I already have a Google Voice call set up from my computer to the landline here and I put the phone on a radio and this is what this would be like if you called another Google Voice was calling into your system this is what it would sound like if they were using a landline this series of violent conflicts is coming to be called the War of the Roses so we have all three callers coming in we're going to go into the jack mixer and mix the audio and send it back out to the to the caller so that all three callers can hear each other but not hear themselves repeating back and you can do that with jack mixer so to demonstrate that for Pulse Audio and Skype, here's a Skype out. You don't want to go Skype to Skype, so you just take it to the other two. So you would take it to Mumble, and you would take it to this native Jack to Also, which is where the Google Voice is. So the Skype caller can send audio to the Mumble recipient and the Google Voice recipient. And then the Mumble caller calling in his audio or their audio would go to the Skype caller for the pulse audio but not themselves because you don't want it to repeat back to them and then he would send it to this jack to also which is the native plug that we're using for Google Voice and then for Google Voice coming in on the left we want that caller's voice to go to mumble and and Skype so you send it to Skype here and mumble here but not themselves so just to show that briefly just draw the wire out so now the Google Voice caller can be heard by the Skype caller and the mumble caller but it won't come back and repeat and for mumble we'll do that again real quick you want mumble to go to Skype you want mumble to go to Google Voice but you don't want it to go to, to itself. So you just do that. We also have a recorder here set up in the monitor, ready to go so if you wanted to record the podcast. And I'm using this simple screen recorder coming out of the mains here. That's the basic setup. Now to create your own mumble jacked also bridge, there's another video about that, and I'll, that'll be in the show notes. But those are the commands I'm using for the mumble input right here. And that creates an ALSA to Jack bridge in the Jack Audio Connection Bay here. And this is the mumble output command right there that I'm using. So that mumble itself has its own ALSA to Jack bridge separate from the default one that comes with KX Studio here. One advantage of using this jack mixer is that you're able to wire this audio just like you would a regular hardware mixer so that nobody hears themselves get repeated and the audio from Mumble doesn't get repeated back on somebody else's, uh, any of the other two callers from Skype or Google Voice, etc. One advantage of this KX Studio Carlos Connection Bay is you can use Windows VST 2 or VST 3, 32 bit or 64 bit and it comes with lots of free plugins. Let me open this up just a little bit. So if you wanted to 
apply compressors and limiters and gates, noise gates, and EQ. You just have a lot to choose from here and try. And you can, I'll let you uh, investigate that. Jack mixer is a very simple one. There are other mixers, but I'm just using this for this demonstration. But that's just the basic setup for using KX Studio Carla Connection Bay for Jack Audio for a podcast mixer. Thanks for watching.